taking some people on a little tour today of Kimikso and they want to leave at nine. Are they nuts? I just got up. Normally I don't get up this early. And let's get ready to go on an adventure. I'm on the bus heading to Boca with my little friends from Kiwala. to Boca and now we're waiting for my my uh, panga driver because he's freaking late and he just he just sent a voice message saying try to find some other people for him am I gonna get a commission that's what I want to know but yeah here we are in Boca and waiting for Bruno to come so we can get our asses over to Kimisto and we're gonna hike up to the waterfalls it's a, it's a mini hike adios That's him there. Bruno! Como estas, amigo? Bien, tú? Bien. Okay. Adios, Boca. All I want is one of the mansions on the side here. if you oh great well done buenos dias hola gracias doing down there kitty yeah i know but she has family and she has family there so maybe sometime laborer in Oaxaca. Wow. I'm not sure exactly where. And I don't think he's been back to Mexico. I was just talking to him about coming here and then potentially moving here. And he was really... Andy Bar. This is where we come for Ricea. I'm sure if you've okay. seen it in my videos. Yes. It tastes gross too. Does it? I don't like it. Oh, that's cute. No, go, get get it. Get it. go get it! Oh, he loves chasing chickens. That's what it is. ¿Dónde vas? Ay, voy a la Cascadios. Oh, one this more. guy's a famous <laughs> performer. Are you going up there today? Yeah. Uh, one, one time a year that the mangoes. Let's do this. My God, so he rents horses and we'll take you up on <laughs> Hasta luego. You'll be fine. Well, it is a little bit. Nobody's bouncing. It is rustic. Okay. So just keep an eye on the slats. I'm a professional. Are you having fun yet or what? <laughs> Watch out for the hole right here. <laughs> ha 
How's it going? You're an adventurer! Yeah, you're not there yet. <laughs> The beginning of the path. Let's do this. Give them the, you know, you know, like give them some encouragement. Like, you can do it. Our town because of Mount Rainier. Volcanoes. And what is the siren? It's a lahar. It's like there's an earth. Yeah. I'm like that too. I rush, 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 rush. How long did that take? Uh, I don't know. 20? Yeah. yeah, it's fast, right? 25 maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Wow, look at that tree. Oh my gosh. Guess what? We made it to the waterfalls in Kimik's Pool. I'm having a limonata and uh, the water is gorgeous. Can you see it? Where it is. And that's that. My lovely friends from Tuolip are having a lovely swim in the water there and uh, it's a hot day the walk was super fast but it's hot there's two big hills that you have to go up but it's over in no time so what are you gonna do you can burn off all the beer calories and we got shorty here and life is good don't you think <laughs> okay salud I'm just heading home, sun setting 20 minutes maybe, but I just found out I'm freaking anemic again. Been wondering why my legs are freaking killing me when I go upstairs. I'm like winded and super fatigued and all this other bullshit. So I got some vitamin shot in my butt. I'm gonna do that for two days and try to up up the iron intake, I guess. <sighs> what a fun time! <laughs> The dogs are gonna get one too so that's that it's like a billion degrees and uh, it's quiet quiet here in Puerto Vallarta everyone's gone home because they don't want to sweat their asses up but I'm a freaking warrior people 
and I'm gonna make it through I hopefully lose a couple pounds but I gotta have an ice cream first okay bye look I'm in Burger King Burger King getting cones for the dogs it's gonna be okay on the lay Get ready to party, kids. Okay, done it. Someone's got to do it. Gracias. No, 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 I don't. Okay. One cone. Por qué no? Make it big. <laughs> And there's the park. While there was the park, across the street. Gracias! So oh, you. <laughs> Time to eat ice cream. Shorty. Here, look. Yeah. It's a paradise for dogs. Eat it. There you go. Yes, I got one too. Don't worry about it. Andale. Yes. Amazing artwork. Beautiful. Look at this. Love it. Oh my god, oh my god. I, I just started reading, rereading this amazing book <laughs> and I read it years ago when I was studying acting and it was such a trip because I literally, my life was completely paralleling this story. I lived in a house full of people with many, many rooms and it was an old house and then something happened and they, they were going to develop it. But I said, can I stay on if you're not getting to work right away? So I had this huge house with four different suites and floors. 
and all these rooms all to myself. I would find like random shit in the alleys to decorate the house with like a yellow ottoman and like I'd put a tutu on the wall for as a piece of art and all this shit and I had just quit art school and was going to acting school but I was reading this book and, and when you're in this book like people like pass away and different generations flow through this one house I think I just started it again and that's exactly what happened everyone left and I was there alone and I was as I was reading this book that's what happened to someone in this house and I was like what the fuck's going on but it's, oh my god it's so good and I'm, I'm like on page six and it's rocking my world I haven't picked up a book for a long time so read this book it's so freaking epic this is the line I just read. He's talking about this Melchizedek sort of guy, a gypsy man. He wore a large black hat that looked like a raven with widespread wings and a velvet vest across which the patina of the centuries had skated. I mean, give me a break, people. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Okay, gotta go, bye. yesterday I have really bad anemia again it kind of hit me all of a sudden just, well no my legs were hurting when I was going upstairs like were stinging like and I'm like what the fuck and I would be completely out of breath and I got my blood work done and now it turns out I'm freaking anemic again so I'm kind of feeling sorry for myself because it's a creepy feeling, like you're super fucking heavy and incredibly fatigued and tired. And, uh, so I'm gonna head on over to this great place that makes good salads and stuff and try to get... What the fuck is this guy doing? Come on, dudes. And try to get uh, some greens in me because I definitely, my intake of uh, ensalada and whatnot. Like I used to chomp on kale salad every single day, like for fucking years. But here it's hard because you have to clean it. I don't fucking know. The point is, I don't feel well. And um, that's that. That's the update, dudes. <laughs>